Um, what are we doing today? I have no idea. <laughs> I know. I was trying to prep <laughs> you to ask me what we're doing today. So Shit. today what I wanted to do was I wanted to take a minute and talk a little bit about my Hyper Real Pure Pigment Powders. Okay. Um, the Hyper Real Pure Pigment Powders are um, really intense, um, just like the title says, pure pigment powders that really kind of give you a punch of color and a punch of effect. Okay. And the effect is mostly um, a very strong kind of metallic effect, but there are three shades in the group of six that all have a very similar kind of appearance to them in the jar, at least. So these three shades, there is Ganesha, there's Spellbound, and there's Catchlight. And I'll kind of um, go over each of those three shades to tell you, or to show everybody, <laughs> how they um, are very different, although they look very much the same in their jars. Um, and this whole video was really inspired by a question that came through on the customer service portal uh, through eddiefunkhauser.com. Yeah. So anytime anybody has a question, they can ask Eddie or they can just go ahead and send us an email. And a lot of times the emails, if I don't read them myself first off, they'll get forwarded to me. And then for questions like this, um, I can immediately respond as I did to this one question. But I thought it was a, a good enough question that I wanted to just kind of take a minute and um, you know, elaborate a little bit more on those three specific shades, Catchlight, Spellbound, and Ganesha. Okay. And um, then there's three other shades as well that I think um, are, they're all, they're all really fantastic shades, but there's more than just one way to use them. And that's, that's the point of this video, mm -hmm. is that um, you could use the three shades that I just held up, you could use those as toppers. So they have a really beautiful iridescent kind of undertone to them. Right. So, when you place them on the skin, if you're just placing them on like a nude eye, you're not gonna get a lot of color, you're gonna get more effect. Okay. And then we have three other shades that are Dollicious, because it's like a bubblegum pink, so I call that one Dollicious. And then we have Penny Lane, which is more of a, a coppery bronze. Uh, and then this one here, oh gosh, I have to look because I'm blanking out right now, <laughs> Emerald City. Mm -hmm. So Emerald City, you know, on my infatuation with uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes I sense. ditched Candyland and now I play Wizard of Oz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, one of those um, not so secret secrets of mine now. <laughs> oh my God. So where do we start? I think we could start first by introducing Penny Lane. I'm gonna start with the shades that actually have more color payoff to them because okay. when you're layering the other powders that have more of a white appearance to them in the jar, those have more effect to them. And you can layer those pretty much over top of any shade. Okay. So like right now, for instance, just to draw some more attention to myself, <laughs> um, I did a smoky eye this morning mm -hmm. and um, over wearing... top of it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm wearing Spellbound. Spellbound. Yeah. Okay. So I have just a black base under there. Um, and then I've applied from the inner corner about halfway over um, Spellbound. And you can see, like on the inner corner, you can see more effect. Mm -hmm. So it's more like iridescent effect. And then as it goes closer to overlapping the black shadow, right. it takes on a stronger um, iridescent effect, but you see more purple coming out of it. For sure. Is that what you see? At least yeah. that's what I think. Yeah, it's, it's like. <laughs> you can see it clearly. Okay, so I'm gonna first start with Penny Lane and I'll just show on the back of my hand and you could put some on yours as well so we can see on the different skin tones what it looks like. Um, there are noises of the city that <laughs> you will hear. Um, my studio is in downtown LA so you'll hear cop cars and um, people screaming at each other, all that good stuff. Um, enjoy the sounds of Los Angeles, downtown LA. So Penny Lane is what I'm putting on my hand first and um, Katerina is also placing that on the back of her hand and we'll both show you what it looks like on both of our skin tones. So for me, it has just a very um, coppery kind of, coppery undertone to it, coppery payoff. Um, nice metallic finish though. And for you, it's the same thing, but it has a, a little bit more, uh, you see more of the metallic finish to it because of your beautiful undertone in your skin. So it, it tends to push out more of the um, reflectivity, more of the metallic. So what I'm gonna do, 
as I'm going to use a little bit of that first on Katerina's eyes. And the nice thing about these pigment powders is they're super, super easy to apply. You should never really be intimidated by loose powders because, um, uh, you know, the only thing you have to watch out for is them there being any kind of fallout underneath the eye and you can easily and why don't I do it just to show you can easily just take a powder brush and a little bit of a setting powder and this is a translucent powder so it'll be easily swept away after we're done and I'm just going to place a little bit of that underneath the eye so this is going to prevent the eye area the under eye area from being sticky because you know our own body oils our own natural moisture could cause the powder to kind of stick when okay. it falls yeah. so if powder does fall on that area now that we have the translucent powder under your eye it'll be really easy for us just to kind of brush it away got it so just a, a quick tip there on how to control any kind of fallout so now i'm just taking penny lane on a shadow brush and rather than sweeping it across the eye, I'm just going to press it onto the eyelid. And it's such a simple application. There's such nice payoff color and effect that you don't really have to do much work. The powder does the work for you. And one of the reasons why I made these part of the line is because they're so intuitive. They're so easy to use. Some people still have a little bit of a intimidation um, for these. They get a little intimidated, but there is absolutely no reason to be. Go ahead and open your eye. Look at the camera there. So you can see with and without. I'll hand you a little <laughs> oh, compact yeah. so you can see yourself. Oh, wow. I and like how about if you're comfortable enough, and even if you're not, I'm going to make you do it anyway. I'm going <laughs> okay. to hand you the brush, and uh -huh. you'll remember the instruction, right? Yeah. So, which yep. was to pat it instead of sweep correct, it. Correct. Yep. Okay. So you do that, and while you do that, I'm actually going to mix a little bit of this um, same shade into a lip gloss, so you can okay. put over top of your lips. Awesome. Go ahead. So while Katarina's doing that, I'm going to take a clear lip gloss. And I'm just gonna squeeze some of that out onto the back of my hand. I'm gonna shake a little bit of Penny Lane right into the lip gloss. And then using a brush, a lip brush, you can see how I've transformed that clear lip gloss into something that has a really nice kind of sun-kissed kind of effect to it. And you'll see that even more so when I have Katerina um, back to all myself <laughs> and I'll apply some of that to her lips. So how did you, so how did you okay? do? Yeah, it yeah. looks great. I'm going to bring it, up. bring it up a little bit more into your crease so it kind of matches the other side. You could see how I just kind of like up in swept. Here? Yeah. And you could sweep that area okay. back and forth and that's just going to help to blend it from the eyelid up into the brow bone just ever so slightly. There you go. Oh, Perfect. Okay. Just like that. Very simple. Yeah. Beautiful eyes. Check that awesome. out. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So I mixed a little bit of Penny Lane into a clear gloss. And this is kind of the concoction you get. So really pretty. And this is just, um, this is just clear gloss and the Hyper Real Pure Pigment Powder in Penny Lane. Once I do this, then um, we'll just take a look at what this looks like by itself. And then I'll have you remove this and then we'll apply something over top of a lipstick. So not to get ahead of myself, but mm -hmm. that's the, the plan that we're aiming to achieve. All right. Let me just get a little bit more product. And just do a slight pat, just a little bit. Now let me do your upper lip really quick. So you get just a really nice touch of color and you don't have to just mix these with clear glosses. You can mix these with pretty much any gloss. And um, I could do that for you later as well. I'll mix it into a gloss that has a little bit of a shade to it. So you can see that even for shaded glosses, you could amplify 
their overall effect by adding just a little bit of a pigment powder to them. One more little pat and then flirt with the camera, <laughs> flirt with yourself in the mirror. <laughs> And that's just using clear gloss and Penny Lane, right? That's that's two clear. two products. Yeah, awesome. this clear gloss is on its way out. I don't have it quite yet, but mm -hmm. it will be um, coming to you soon. Um, but like I said, you can use pretty much any lip gloss color. I just wanted to use a clear so you can see how the powder, the shade of the powder is really amplified when it comes in contact with the gloss. So mm -hmm. um, the exact same shade being used on the eyes and lips two completely different effects. Um, now for a third use with Penny Lane, right when you thought it was enough, right? <laughs> when you thought that was all. Um, I'm gonna take a powder brush and I'm just gonna open up my Penny Lane real quick. Let me just, I'm just gonna sprinkle some in the palm of my hand. I'm loading the tips of my powder brush with a little bit of the Penny Lane powder and I'm just gonna touch the cheeks ever so slightly with this just to create a little bit of a glow. Now I applied to my powder brush very sparingly because I didn't want to over apply on Katerina's skin, but just ever so slightly adding powder to my brush gave me the exact effect that I was looking for, which was just a touch of glow that I wanted to add to, to the face. Nothing too extreme. I wanted to keep it really somewhat natural um, and just add a, a little touch of a sun-kissed kind of glow <laughs> to the face. Okay, so now that I've shown Penny Lane, I'm going to introduce Emerald City by applying that to my eyes. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna hand you a tissue. Okay. And I'm gonna have you take off your lip color that we okay. just put on. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna have you apply foxy brown lip color. Okay. And then we'll top that off with something, with one of the other shades in a second. Okay. So go ahead and do that as I play with Emerald City. Now Emerald City is, as the name kind of implies, it's a really beautiful jewel toned green. It almost has like a golden, effect to it. Let me just rub it around with my fingertips so you can get an idea of how beautiful that is. Let me, there we go. It's a really beautiful green color. And this can be really sheared out if you're using a, an eyeshadow blending brush, something like this that has a little bit more fluffiness to it. That'll give you a really sheer um, application of color, almost just like a veil of color. But I'm gonna use more of a pencil brush and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this down the center of my eye so you can see how it looks over top of a, a darker shade. So there we go. And then I'm just going to grab my compact here so I can look into it as I add a little bit of Emerald City. I'm just going to add it to the center of my eye Just using a brush that is quite a little bit on the firm side, not too firm, but more it's more of a pencil brush. And then I'm gonna use my blending brush just to gently blend it around. You know, I think I was being a little bit too conservative with the green. Me conservative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not me, right? <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna punch it up a little bit more. There we go, now we're talking. That's Eddie style right there. So Emerald City, really beautiful color. What do you think, Katarina? Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. such a huge difference. Yeah. And I do have a little bit of iridescent there, but I have another shade that's called Catchlight. So I'll mm -hmm. go over the iridescent shade with Catchlight and you'll see how it all kind of transforms my smoky iridescent eye into something that's more, um, you know, green and gold. <laughs> yeah. That's really pretty. St. Patty's Day is actually right around the corner. So the, mm -hmm. my eyes will be ready for that once <laughs> we're done here. Um, all right, let me just apply to the other eye real quick. And while I'm doing that, your next job is going to be taking the clear lip gloss okay. and Ganesha. 
Um, oh, Ganesha okay. is another one. Is that it there? That's it. Um, Ganesha is another one of the white powders. Looks white in the jar, but it has a really beautiful, almost um, reddish undertone to it. And you'll okay. see what I mean when you mix that. So as you do that, I'm going to go ahead and apply Emerald City to my other eye. And I mix this in the cap. Yeah, you can go ahead and mix it right into the cap of the powder and show okay, the camera okay. what you're doing because I think that's really smart. And then after, once you're done, you could just rinse your cap out. So I'll add the gloss. Yeah, and just like a, a pea-sized drop of gloss. You don't need a lot of gloss. It's just enough to get a nice little mixture going on. And same with the powder. You don't want to put too, too much powder in there. Okay. Ju just enough. So just and you can always add more. Mm -hmm. But you want to avoid turning that lip gloss into something cakey. So you're just tinting oh. it with powder. Okay. This lip brush here? Yeah, you can Perfect. use that lip brush there. I just realized that I still have the purple underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more of Emerald City. And I'm going to go right over top of the purple. Let's see what happens. It's all about experimenting and playing. Yeah, and that just transforms my purple iridescent eye into green tones. Mmm, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, you these, put it underneath too, huh? That's I awesome. put it underneath this one, and uh -huh. you can see the difference between the two. Yeah. Um, but these have such a nice amount of coverage because they're pure pigments, so they're loaded with pigment. Mm -hmm. So you can see how easily it was for me to just apply the green over top of the purple that I had on. Yeah. So like really easy away. to transform your makeup from day to night. Awesome. And that's not something you can typically do with an a regular eyeshadow. They're usually much too sheer to kind of layer. There we go, now we're talking. Emerald eyes. Okay, how are you doing? Good, this is just going right over the top yep. of yep. Foxy Brown. Yep, yep. Exactly. So while Katerina finishes up her lip application, I'm going to just show you what her mixture looks like on the back of my hand. So clear gloss and a little bit of Ganesha. I'm going to mix those two together. And it gives you a really a nice golden, almost reddish undertone. Can you see that? Hopefully you can catch that on camera. Really beautiful. It adds just like a touch of sunshine to the lips. Um, let's take a look at Katarina's lips now that she's finished her application <laughs> and it's really gorgeous so we've really kind of not just updated her lip color by adding a gloss to it but by adding that special effect the undertone that Ganesha gives really creates a whole different lip color for her now let's take a look at foxy brown which was the color she used first on her lips mm -hmm. we're going to just swatch that on Katarina's hand Really nice reddish brown tone. And then when we add a little bit of the mixture, this is a clear gloss with Ganesha. When we add that over top of Foxy Brown, you can see how that takes it to a whole nother level. Ganesha is one of my favorite colors. Um, and it's named after one of my Hindu god tattoos that I have. So mm -hmm. Ganesha is the remover of obstacles, the elephant god. Oh. And he's the, merges the metaphysical and physical worlds. Okay. So yeah, whatever that. that means to people out there, it <laughs> means a lot to me and mm -hmm. enough for me to name a shade after, um, you know, one of my um, Hindu god. Yeah, enough for you to get it tattooed. Fascinations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what the excuses are for all my other tattoos, but that one actually had true meaning to it. Right, oh my god. Okay, so we have gone through Penny Lane, mm -hmm. Ganesha, and Emerald City. Yes. So now, and you know, now that I think about it, I probably should have shown Spellbound mixed into a gloss before I did Emerald City on my eyes, so I would be matchy-matchy. But oh. that's just me being, you know, a little bit of a narcissist and oh a perfectionist. But um, I'm not going to let that hold me back. I'm going to go ahead and I'm still going to show what 
spellbound looks like mixed into a clear gloss. So, and I'm using clear because I think the clear gloss is gonna give you the most amount of effect. It's gonna help you really understand the undertones of these um, powders that look like they're similar in shade, but they have a whole different kind of personality to them. So this here is Spellbound. Spellbound has an iridescent undertone. I don't know if you can still see um, the corners of my eyes, but mm -hmm. you can take a peek at the corners of my eyes and you can probably see a little bit of iridescent happening there. And that would be Spellbound that I brushed on as a loose powder. So I have now the clear gloss, mixing that into Spellbound. It's really, this is like one of my favorite colors. Yeah. It's just, it's super magical. Mm -hmm. It really kind of transforms your eyeshadows. Um, I often use a smoky eye. Like I'll do my whole eye with mm -hmm. black shadow and then I'll put a little bit of Spellbound over top of that. Oh. And it's a completely different look than if I were to use Spellbound, spellbound <laughs> on its own on a nude lid. Oh, right. So it really, like every application gives you a different type of effect. So this is Spellbound, clear gloss on a nude lip. Pretty, what do you think? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? I mean, if I were to say how <laughs> I look in this gloss, I would say gorgeous, but you know, I'll take pretty. <laughs> I know you're referring to the gloss and not me, but you know, I'm always fishing for a compliment. <laughs> Aren't we all? And if you are fishing for a compliment, I tell you, these pigment powders are the way to get it because when you use them, they have such a beautiful effect. They add so much to your makeup application that you're definitely going to be noticed and you'll definitely get compliments. All right. Check that out. Mm, Kissable, yeah. right? <laughs> You're like, no. Oh my no. God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'll call my honey later and tell him I'm ready for this. <laughs> um, okay, so that is Spellbound mixed in with a clear gloss. And you can see how it's really transformative. Spellbound just looks really beautiful. Did I show how it looks on its own? Uh, I know I said I have some on my eye, but let me just show what the powder itself looks. I just got to tap some of that out. It has a much more delicate effect to it when it's just used on bare skin as a powder. And then you can see how much more it intensifies when you add it to a lip gloss. Now you can add these to or apply them with a wet eyeshadow brush as well. And oh. that's going to give you the same kind of intensity that you might see in the lip gloss. Oh, wow. So they're really super universal. They're um, there's so much you can do with these. Mm -hmm. um, Penny Lane, one of the things that you could do with that one, that's what yeah. the one you have on your eyes. Yes. You could mix a little bit of that into your foundation as well, just mm -hmm. to give you a little bit of a glow effect. It's, okay, I really the never thought of that. The possibilities with these guys are endless. So th that makes them very, very special. Mm. Um, Dollicious and Catch Light. So Dollicious, we're gonna go back to you. And okay. let's just, I'm just gonna add why don't I just add to your eye with Dollicious? Because we will okay. see, we definitely will see um, a transition there. So Dollicious is, um, yeah, let's loan me your hand again so I can swatch this for everybody. It's kind of a bubblegum pink. Can you see that? Hmm. Um, hopefully you can. I'm sure you can because my cameraman is awesome. And it has a really beautiful undertone to it. It has a pink color payoff to it, but it has like a golden shift. So as you see Katarina kind of move her wrist yeah. back and forth, you can see a little bit of that pink happening and then at a different angle you see a little bit more of like a golden peach effect. So it's really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. So first, before I add Dolicious to your eyes, I'm just going to kind of um, add a pop of contour to the corner of your eyes. Okay. I'll do that really quick. 
This is just an eyeshadow from one of my palettes. So this is not my pure pigment. I'm just doing this so I can create a little bit of a backdrop for Dollicious. That's gonna fade from dark to Dollicious and then right into Penny Lane. Let's turn that way. And I'm just kind of keeping this in the outer corner of the eye, right in the crease area, and then whatever color brushes onto the eyelid is going to be naturally perfect for us. So not a lot of time spent on doing that, just adding a little depth to the eye. You can take a look at that real quick. So this can be kind of a teaching moment for you at the same time as showing off these great <laughs> colors. Yeah, I'll have to try this my own. That seemed easy. But. Okay, now, delicious. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that. And these have a little shaker to them. You could probably see that in the little cover. So uh, when you put these in your makeup kit or maybe in your purse, um, travel bag, if you're traveling, you wanna take mm -hmm. these with you, it definitely has like a little closure on top of there. So if the lid, which it won't, if the lid um, comes undone in your purse, you have that little safety mechanism there to prevent powder from going everywhere. So um, call me crafty, but mm -hmm. it's there to for a purpose. Now, there is the delicious, And I'm gonna use a brush, same kind of pencil brush, to add a little bit of delicious to pretty much the outer third of the eye, more, more down the center, and then pulling it over to that outer third of the eye. And this is gonna take on more of a gold tone. Turn your head that way just a bit. So you can see that gold kind of coming through. So you have this really beautiful burgundy color that I added to the corner of the eye, and then it transitions to gold, and then it tapers off into that Penny Lane, the coppery shadow pigment powder, I should say. This is just a clean blending brush that I'm gonna to use to just blend the burgundy shade with Dollicious. And we have a really perfect application. Another very easy way to take maybe a day look into the evening. So just so you're balanced and not walking around crooked, I'm gonna do the other eye. Mm. <laughs> and just kind of tapping it on there. I'm not brushing it around too much. Um, brushing it around is gonna give you more sheer application and tapping the product on to the eyelid is gonna give you a lot more intensity. And that's what we're really looking for here. Clean up a little bit under there. Okay, open those beautiful eyes. <laughs> flirt with yourself first in the Let mirror and then flirt with my camera there so everyone can see. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. It's pretty. Yeah. It's, it's really beautiful. More than cool, it's <laughs> beautiful. So now I'm gonna have you just take this and press it over top of your lips. I don't want you to remove your lips. Okay. I just want you to press it over so we can take off some of the gloss. Okay. So do that. And while you do that, I'm just gonna prep by shaking out a little bit of the delicious. Okay. Okay. I love the eyes. I love, okay, sorry. Is that, I, I know, it's fun, I'm <laughs> fun. I know, it's fun, it's fun, I'm fun. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so delicious. This is just powder. I don't have any gloss mixed into it right now. Um, I am gonna take just a tissue real quick just to prevent anything from falling below. Oh. And I'm going to take a little bit of the delicious and I'm just going to add it to the center of the lip. And this is going to create a really beautiful highlight. Now it does look a little powdery right now, but just hang in there with me. I want to show Katarina first what this looks like with just the powder applied. Go ahead and take a look. Oh. Look how cute her little kiss is. <laughs> look how cute. Everything about you is cute. You oh know that? Oh my God, no. Hate you, fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can see how we just kind of added a little bit of a highlight and that's mm -hmm. over foxy brown. Mm -hmm. We're kind of back to the first lip color that you put on. Right. Now I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of clear gloss onto the tip of my brush that I just used to apply Delicious. And now I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to work 
delicious in too much. I'm just giving it a little bit of a gloss over, literally. And you could just gently pat together. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more on the top. And this is just a clear gloss added to Dolicious, which I had on my lip brush. A gentle pat one more time. Flirt with awesome. yourself, you know the routine. <gasps> oh, wow. How pretty is that? It makes that? a huge difference. It a really huge makes difference. a huge difference. And yeah. most people would never think to use a pigment powder or even an eyeshadow that has a really stunning effect mm -hmm. over top of a lip. So these powders are really great. Now the one obstacle to get past is the intimidation factor, yeah. which most people look at pigment powders and they see bold color or mm -hmm. bold effects, and they're not quite sure how to use them other than maybe just for the eye area. Yeah. So giving you, or me having this opportunity to mm -hmm. kind of like elaborate a little bit more on how to use not only pigment powders, but maybe you have an eyeshadow that you don't ever use because you're just kind of lost on how to use it. Right. Um, you could use those eyeshadows in the very same way mm -hmm. that I've shown how to use these. Now, Catch Light is one of those shades that you saw in 2017, Everyone was going crazy over the unicorn effect or the glow mm -hmm. powder effect right. and the golden shade like this, like catch light, is what we were seeing a lot. So yeah. people were just using this like <laughs> everywhere. Insane. They were using it down the bridge of their nose, on the tip mm -hmm. of the nose, uh, right over top of the cupid's bow. Mm -hmm. um, on their cheeks, yeah. on their eyes. Places they shouldn't, <laughs> everywhere they should. Oh my God. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Maybe you don't, she's innocent. Sorry, I should not be corrupting her. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Oh my God. <laughs> so, um, Catch Light is, is very universal, and I'm actually going to apply this to kind of coat over Spellbound, which is the um, iridescent shade that you're seeing on the inner corner of my mm -hmm. eye. The purple um, shade. Yeah. Hey, you know, why, why don't I let you apply oh, it on me? This just to put interesting. You, just to put you on the spot. You oh, know? always and, being put on the spot. And don't screw up my eyeliner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not to add any pressure to you whatsoever. Oh, my God. No All right, so I'm going to help you out. I'm just going to add a little bit of... Um, or put a little bit of catch light into the cap. I just find that this is the easiest way to work with loose powders. Yeah. Um, put them into a little container like this, and then you can always wash out the cap afterwards. All right, so I will. And, you know, don't worry, you know, makeup is, it's all about fun and we can redo or whatever. So mm -hmm. this is not about perfection. It's about having fun and just kind of showing what, catch light is going to look like. So you just want me to put it in the inner? Yeah, just part? place it right over top of, so start in the inner corner there, okay. and then just kind of bring it over and connect with Emerald City, okay, the green shade. Got it. Hmm? Ow! <laughs> Don't do that, oh my god, okay. <laughs> yeah. So as you work it on, you'll start to kind of see the golden effect happen and then you just keep working with it distribute it all the way across the eye up until it meets emerald city okay what do you think yeah it definitely took on a golden golden tone do you want to take a look, oh, yeah, take a look. yeah of course i want to take a look <laughs> the whole time i'm like oh my god i gotta see what she's doing <laughs> perfect yeah. A very subtle transition mm -hmm. from the iridescent to the gold, but it totally mm -hmm. makes more sense now um, because I have that Emerald City on. So, all right, yeah. now I have a, a, a makeup artist that can do my makeup for me. Oh, my God. At, at least the highlight on the inner corner of the eye. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so okay, let's do this one. Don't get in my light, cat. Oh, my God. <gasps> How we do it? How we did? Oh my gosh. Everyone mm -hmm. leave your comments in the comment section to tell Katarina what a good job she's doing. Oh, I completely no. put her on the spot right now. Yeah, I've never done makeup on anyone before, so <laughs> this is a first. <laughs> okay, let's put some in the crease area. Oh, she's going to town. And so okay. gentle too. Yeah. I thought okay. you'd be like poking my eyes out. <laughs> what do you think? Oh yeah, it turned gold for sure. Right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just add a little tiny bit underneath my, not that I don't trust you or anything, but <laughs> sure. um, 
underneath here. And I'm really just kind of packing it on there so you can kind of see more, even more gold. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, you know, how you guys feel about how that looks, but for me, more is more, <laughs> extra, better. Oh extra. And then I'll just take my finger and kind of blend that away. Oops, I'm making a mess, huh? <laughs> Let me see. There are no messes. Just, <sighs> there we go. How do we look? Do I look like a crazy lady now? Nope, never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to say, as usual. Oh my God, per usual. So what I'm going to do is, um, and that, that's basically the introduction of six hyper real pure pigment powders that I have in my line. Um, they're all really great colors. Um, I'm going to leave in the comments area below um, a description of each one of the shades mm -hmm. along yes. with the shade names. Um, that way we can help kind of guide people as to which shades are which. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think, you know, this is a really great way to update a lip gloss that you might have that you haven't ever used mm. um, or that you've stopped using, I should say. And also for eyeshadows that maybe are outdated and you want to just kind of bring them back to life. Um, you can easily do that just by layering one of these pigment powders over top of, of one of those types of eyeshadows. So there's a lot of different possibilities. This product is all about having fun. It's about being creative. It's about yeah. thinking outside of the box. Mm -hmm, and so sure. um, because of that, it's really one of my favorite products. And I hope all of you have learned a little something from this tutorial. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope that you grab these products and um, use them to bring new life to your everyday makeup routine. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. <laughs> um, click the little bell so anytime I upload a new video, you're alerted. Mm -hmm. And please leave me comments in the comment sections below to let me know what you think of our video here today. <laughs> and thanks so much for Katarina Rose oh for helping me out with um, sharing her beauty with us today. Thanks Thank so you. much and we'll see you again. <laughs>